Hi Taurus, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of July the 20th to July the 27th. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel and all the subscribers coming in to me, leaving me wonderful testimonies testimonials on their readings and on these videos and that's what keeps me coming out here Taurus every week with these 12 signs and I am truly blessed and thank you for this. We start our week Taurus on Monday with a fire card and you have been given the three of fire and this particular guard card is a great card and it talks about abundance coming into some of you right now and things are looking very very good so you've been expecting something to happen but you need to have patience at this time because it's taking time for this abundance to come in and that you've been expecting but when it does arrive and it will arrive you will be able to make long-term plans because of it on Tuesday my friend you have been given the three of earth and this particular card talks about you having the power of creativity within you. And you're going to be recognized for some very high quality work that you put up at your place of employment. And uh, this is all because you are a tremendous team player. Wednesday, the dreamer, a major, major card. And it's telling me that some of you, this, you it is a great leap of faith. And um, it's saying that... Um, there may be some uh, unexpected opportunities coming into you and you need to assert your independence um, and approach any, uh, any challenges coming into you uh, right now uh, optimistically. Okay, so this is the dreamer card. Dream it, believe it, manifest it. Follow your dreams, my friend, because those unexpected opportunities will appear and help you out. Another major card, you have been given the magician. And the magician is all about beginning new projects in your life right now. And you need to stop worrying about things going in a different direction because it's saying that you're ready and you have the resources and the ability to manifest basically um, anything that you want to do because life can be magical. Excuse me. Um, and learn from your emotional uh, situation right now. Stop procrastinating and believe that you can do this because, again, there's going to be unexpected resources coming in to help you. The magician is a great card. On Friday, you've been given the release card. And the release card is all about moving in a different direction. And it's saying that it's the end of a project or a phase in your life right now is complete. And it's time to shake off the old and bring in the new. Welcome in the new. Because it's no benefit staying in, in the remaining situation that some of you have been in. Um, and when this release happens, sometimes you'll feel sadness. Sometimes you'll feel relief. But you need to know that you can seek out the support of family and friends right now because this is all about things that you've outgrown and you moving in a different direction. And it could pertain to a relationship in your life because it refers to it as relationship transitions. On Saturday, an air card. This is the king of air. And this particular one says that you're dealing with a situation, some of you, and you need to speak confidently. You need to, you need to um, speak your mind with confidence and seek out professional advice. If you're dealing with a situation right now, and I tell you all this time, the air cards have to do with communication, the legal system, the system of justice. Some of you may be dealing with legal issues in your right, life right now with lawyers and attorneys. So um, it's saying that you need to seek out professional advice because when you're dealing with a situation and you need to be confident about it, they're going to guide you in the best direction to help you. Um, it's going to help you balance your mental and emotional uh, part of your life as well by getting this guidance from this professional. Another air card. Again, it deals with the legal system, communications, uh, and so on. Um, now they're saying that you've dealt with that for some of you that have been dealing with these legal issues and it's the end of that difficult situation. So you need to move forward, embrace the change that's coming into you and expect things are going to get better for you. Um, this card also refers to people who have addictions and it refers to you as recovering from them. The end of the week, I pulled that one oracle card for you and look at that beautiful card you've been given. New beginning. So great cards for this reading this week because it, you, a lot of you have been dealing with situations in your life right now and a lot of it had to do with communications and or the legal system. So if you are releasing and you're moving on from a relationship, if you've been dealing with legal issues that 
<coughs> excuse me, that have been difficult and you're moving on again because it's turning out well for you. Look at it this way, my friend. It will refer to new beginnings for you. Embrace those new beginnings and look at them with optimis op optimism. Can't get my brain and mouth to work at the same time. I thank you again for this reading and for tuning in. And again, it's your loyalty that keeps me here. I leave you again with another quote. And the particular quote I picked is, Never be afraid to raise your voice for honesty and truth and compassion against injustice, lying, and greed. If people all over the world would do this, it would change the earth. I wish you a great remainder to today, Taurus, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. If you should desire another reading with me or the new Taurus coming into me, my website is www.brendatarot.info. Hope to see you soon. I want you to know I continue to stand in the circle of light for you.